Jesus Christ. I fucking throat gave out. Beast. Listen. If he can just, if, if, if it isn't a real Zeke, if it's just like a synthesized Titan, he can synthesize Titans. Aaron is broken. Now, if it's just a, a, a if it's real, and he just like, he can just shit out the Titans he controls. That's still fucking crazy. I mean, that's so good. I mean, he can shit out the Arrest. He can shit out, um, he can shit out the Warhammer Titan. He can shit out the, uh, the Jaw Titan. I mean, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron is big right now. Aaron is big. Aaron is, is a big motherfucker right now. He has a lot of power. Um, in my opinion, what, what, what I see from Zeke or Aaron right now, I think there is a, a no way in which I can physically see Aaron losing without talk no jutsu. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't see it. I don't. I just don't. I just don't see it. You know. I, I don't. I don't see it. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I know people don't want to hear that, but Isayama is still pushing the goddamn Mikasa. Got to pick a side angle, as this dude says here. You know what? Jon Snow, Mikasa. You can make some comparison there. Armin is like I keep on pushing the. You know, I, I still believe in you, the Naruto shit. I, you're my friend, the fucking... <laughs> the fucking first time they fight in the uh, Final Valley at the end. You're my friend. That, that that fucking scene from Naruto versus Sasuke, that shit is classic. That's an all-time great scene. That's besides the point. Um, Armin's still pulling that bullshit. So they're, they're definitely going to have Eren get Takno Jutsu or, like, stabbed from behind or some shit like that. Like, it's gonna be talking to you. There's no other way it can be. This motherfucker can literally control them right now if he wanted to. It's literally he's literally setting up right now for for them to kill him. It it is no. It's not even a satisfying ending for most people with this. I'm guaranteeing you right now. You can you can take this part. I don't. How far are we into this? 27 minutes. You can take this part. I'll put in the the the, the bio description. You can take this part, screenshot it, ask Alexa to record it. Ask at spots to record that. There is no way in the fuck they're gonna have this in a satisfying manner as far as Aaron losing this fight. Now, if you are a real one at this point, you realize this is not a battle shonen. This is not Naruto. This is not fucking, you know, Dragon Ball. You know, this is not that shit where the fight is the end all be all. I think it's gonna be some shit like Neon Genesis Evangelion or like. FMA were like the conclusion is fighting stops and that's what he's kind of been sprinkling in for a while that fighting is the opposite of the direction we need to go we need peace that's literally what this chapter like first half of the chapter was about we want peace we want to redo human instrument human instrumentality project Aaron going to the truth's gate and like hugging um the fuck like like the truth or whatever his name was like, to, yo, you good, you Gucci, dude. We, we alright. That was a, that's that was the concluding part of both of those series. Now, hopefully, it doesn't end with fucking Oscar being choked out by Shinji. You know, this motherfucker like. <laughs> anyway, fuck Shinji. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, it doesn't. Actually, FMA brother has a pretty decent ending, but it's, it's sappy. We don't want a sappy ending here. We want some hard hitting shit. We want some deep, not necessarily Devil Man crybaby level of. Um, you know, morose, but that end of the spectrum is what we want more than FMA Brotherhood. That's that's not that's not what we want. That that shit is not that's not this. Um <laughs> that's not this series, I'm sorry. But I'm not asking him to do something that I want him to do. I'm just telling you guys to be prepared that this fighting aspect is not the end all be all and we're not gonna get like some epic like fucking one more time reverse and then like he just like Pulls himself from death and like just comes back and like fucking kills everybody and shit like that. Aaron does not want to win. He does not want to see. He's gonna try. 
he's gonna give him a chance to kill him though and in essence i think that chance is something that he's pretty much caked into his strat quote unquote and i think his strat even though he will be killed will still be succeeded via historia and maybe annie getting the uh founding titan powers or maybe the baby is about the Titan powers, but anyway, 30 minutes in, it's time for me to end this. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you stuck around with me this long, you uh, you understand that this is this is a big chapter, and it pivots in such a way that where Isayama more than likely knows what he wants, and, and he you know he gave us like I said multiple times, he gave us the ending panel five years ago he knew what he he knew like the, the beginning to end in the same way that uh george r r martin knows the beginning and end to you know the winds of winter and all that shit uh story, song of ice and fire i don't think that isayama knew his steps to get to this point until maybe like two years ago maybe um and i think I, I think Isayama has given us enough to, to tell us that there probably won't be too many more twists. Like I said, this like a year ago after the uh, after 121, 122. Um, there probably won't be too many more big twists, but he's going to give us enough to keep this ending. Like, keep this entertaining. Like, it's still fighting was a big part of why the series blew up. The Titan versus Titan aspect. He's going to give us enough of that in crazy amounts. He's like, okay, this is still going to be fucking epic. But he's gonna let us down. Like the same way that season eight was promote, promoted to be like nobody's gonna be happy. I think that's exactly what it's gonna be. I, I you know, I, I compare this to season eight, um, a couple episodes back and people hated me for it. I'm doing it again, but in a positive way. I think this is gonna be what season eight was supposed to be, where there's no winners, there's no losers, there's no Daenerys just get killed because she's a mad queen. Aaron needs to get killed because it's just a social good, but at the same time, it's not really the fine social good. It's just what needs to happen because the alternative is him stomping the entire planet, which is closer to an objectively social bad, but still not quite an objectively social bad. Like, share, rate, subscribe. Uh, please share if you enjoy this because. You know, I put some work into this with my fucking vocal cords. <laughs> uh, please comment. You know, I want to discuss this with people. You know, I uh, I like Attack on Titan. Uh, it's one of the few series I follow in the modern era of anime, fervently. Uh, you know, I follow my JoJo parts, but that's made by guys who've been doing this, you know, for 50 years now. Um, you know, I follow Demon Slayer now a little bit. I got to start the manga. Uh, I just finished the anime. Literally before I recorded this. Uh, I follow MHA a little bit, but I don't really want to read the manga because I feel like I need the anime to validate me. I don't want to like necessarily follow the manga. And the only thing I can say is I did read the manga for the hideout arc, but not all of it. Just like to get like a little bit of taste. I don't want to read the manga because I heard the manga's on fire right now. I need the I need the anime to validate itself a little bit. I'm fucking with Baruto, but again, a sequel Naruto. Attack on Titan is pretty much the first modern anime I started fucking with um past the big three 15 20 years ago um and it's been a wild ride I think I started in 20 I want to say 2013 I don't know when I don't know when season one came out but I want to say 2013 I, I feel like I started the same year that Battle of Gods dropped um and that was 2013 right Battle of Gods. Yeah, 2013. I want to say, like, I saw 2014. Hmm. I don't know, something like that. I want to say I saw, like, Attack on Titan just chilling on Netflix. And I think that's like, the first year it came on Netflix. I don't know what, I think I'm like 2014, 2013, something like that. I started fucking with it then. I never looked back. I think this was before even season two came out. Season two was like, what, like a fucking like three year day, uh, hiatus or some shit like that. So it was like fucking crazy too. Um, you know, been here for a while at this point. Um, 
season three was amazing. Season three part two was amazing. Uh, I think season four, I, I tell, I'm telling my friends this shit. I think season four is going to be the best season of anime ever. I think it's going to be the best season of anime ever. And for any season of anime, you can put fucking the pain art. You can put the the marine. I think the the shit people always guess about One Piece is the marine for arc, which happened like fucking a decade ago. Now apparently they haven't had a good arc in a decade. It's pretty crazy that you know to say the Soul Society arc. Um, the fucking last few scene, the end of Evangelion. Um, anything. It's to put up as anything. I think it's fucking on anything. The last, like the Hohenheim fight, uh, from the, from the, uh, from when Father gets his like footing down and like gains the power of like all the homunculi, gets his power straight, um, you know, opens the gate, the truce gate, and Hohenheim comes in. From that point on, in, in FMA brother, better than that, better than Death Note, pre M coming in. Uh, after that, I think, can't really say the best anime ever. Uh, anything, fuck 